What are the most reliable small crossover SUVs that you can buy? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Carl Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. For this video, I'm going to share 10 small crossover SUVs that have the best reputation for long-term reliability that you can keep for a long time without spending a lot of money on maintenance and repairs. The reliability data for this video comes from a variety of reputable sources, including Consumer Reports, iccars.com, Car Help Canada, and anecdotal data from mechanics who work on these cars every single day. And before we get into this list, if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. I post two videos a week, always straight to the point, valuable car buying advice designed to help you, the consumer. So we'll start off with number 10, which is the Honda CRV. Now, even though I'm putting the CRV at the bottom of this list, this is still a very well designed SUV and an excellent option to consider. For one thing, it's one of the most practical and spacious compact SUVs that you can buy with plenty of passenger space and a really good sized cargo area too. And not only is the interior extremely spacious, but it's also very well designed with excellent build quality, straightforward controls, and a very user friendly and well designed infotainment system. It's a great driving SUV too with an excellent balance between handling and ride comfort. And it also offers the choice of two different drivetrains a 1.5 turbo four cylinder engine with a CVT in either front wheel or all wheel drive. Or if you want, you also have the option of a fuel efficient hybrid. And finally, the CRV has an excellent reputation for strong reliability, low cost of repair, and maintaining high resale value, which means it's a great SUV to hold on to for a long time or trade in after a few years and still get a lot of your money back. Now, even though the CRV is a very good value, the main reason why it comes at the bottom of this list is the pricing. For 2023, Honda has increased the pricing by quite a bit, and it's just not as competitive as other SUVs in this segment. But if you happen to really like the CRV, especially if you want to buy a hybrid SUV, it's an excellent choice to go for. And moving on to number nine on the list, we have the Subaru Crosstrek. The Crosstrek is one of the most popular subcompact crossovers on the market. If you're okay with an SUV that's on the smaller size, that doesn't have a ton of interior space, then this is a great option to go for. Subaru is famous for its symmetrical full-time all-wheel drive system, which makes the Crosstrek a very capable small crossover SUV. It also has a really nice ride and a choice of either a 2.0-liter or a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with a CVT. I would personally go for the larger 2.5-liter engine, which has a lot more power and is just more comfortable to drive. The interior of the Crosstrek is also well designed and even though it's not the most spacious crossover in the segment, it does have a very user friendly interior and control setup and comes with a long list of active safety features as part of Subaru EyeSight. Combine all of that with its strong reputation for reliability, high resale value and very attractive pricing and the Crosstrek is a great choice to go for. And even though there's an all new design coming out for 2024, which is going to be available in the second half of 2023, it's not exactly going to be dramatically different from the outgoing Crosstrek. So either way, you're going to get a great vehicle. So with that one out of the way, let's move on to the next crossover on the list, which is the Mazda CX-30. Much like the Crosstrek, the CX-30 is an excellent choice for someone who wants a crossover SUV that's on the smaller size and doesn't prioritize having a lot of interior space. Mazda has developed a reputation for making some of the most reliable and well-built vehicles on the market, making this a great choice for an SUV to buy and hold on to for a long time with minimal repair costs. Compared to the Crosstrek, however, this is a much more stylish SUV with a more upscale interior that feels a little bit more on the luxury side. It's also a great driving SUV with excellent handling and strong power from either a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine or a 2.5 turbo that produces up to 250 horsepower. You also get standard all wheel drive and a conventional six speed automatic transmission as opposed to a CVT, which is something that a lot of buyers prefer. As a whole then, the CX-30 is a great choice for a small SUV, but if you prefer to have something that's a little bit more on the spacious side, then let's move on to the next SUV on the list which is the Honda HRV. What the HRV has really going for it, much like the larger CRV, is practicality and spaciousness. This is one of the most spacious and roomy subcompact crossovers that you can buy, which gives it a huge advantage over the competition. And on top of having a lot of space, the HRV is just a well-designed SUV. It has a well-built interior, a very straightforward control setup, 
with plenty of features and active safety technology, and it also has a very comfortable, nice driving experience too, with good handling and decent performance from a 2.0-liter naturally aspirated 4-cylinder engine. It's not going to blow anybody away with its performance, but if you just want a well-designed, reliable SUV that's not going to cost you a lot of money in repairs, this is a great choice to go for. And although the pricing for the HRV is on the high side, it does have very strong resale value thanks to that strong reputation for reliability. But if you want an SUV that offers even better value for your money, then let's move on to number 6 on the list, which is the Subaru Forester. The Forester is a go-to choice for anybody who wants a well-designed SUV that's reliable, well-built, and is not going to cost you a lot of money in repairs. And not only is it known for being reliable, but this is also one of the safest and most capable SUVs in the segment. The Forester comes standard with Subaru's symmetrical full-time all-wheel drive and a long list of safety features as part of Subaru EyeSight. This is also a very practical SUV with a lot of passenger space and cargo space, and a straightforward control setup and infotainment system too. But although the Forester is a very good value, it does have one small drawback, which is the performance. The 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine really doesn't have a lot of power, which is perhaps the biggest complaint from owners. So if you want a similar compact SUV that offers better performance, then let's move on to number 5 on the list, which is the Mazda CX-5. Whether you go with the CX-5 or its very similar cousin, the CX-50, you are going to get a really well designed SUV. In terms of styling, performance, handling and features for the money, the CX-5 is an amazing value for what you're getting. Like the CX-30, you can get either a 2.5 four-cylinder engine or a 2.5 turbo with a six-speed automatic transmission and standard all-wheel drive. Even with the base engine, this is a great performing SUV, and it also has a surprisingly upscale interior too, with excellent build quality that makes it feel a lot more expensive than it really is. The same is also true of the CX-50, which is a little bit bigger than the CX-5, making it better for those who prioritize practicality. Either way, you're going to get an amazing SUV with a very strong reputation for reliability that you just can't go wrong with. But you could also say the same about SUV number 4 on the list, which is the Toyota Corolla Cross. Bottom line, if you want a small SUV that's reliable, fuel efficient, safe and also offers amazing value for your money, you really can't go wrong choosing the Corolla Cross. This is one of the most affordable SUVs that you can buy on the market. And the best thing is, is that you're really not sacrificing anything for that lower price. This is a surprisingly practical SUV with a decent amount of interior space and cargo space. You also have a long list of features, a really good infotainment system, and a lot of safety features as part of Toyota Safety Sense. The power from the base 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine is not exactly exhilarating, but it is very fuel efficient. And if you want, you also have the option of the Corolla Cross Hybrid. Not only does the hybrid give you even better fuel economy, but you also get a lot more power too, with around 192 horsepower, which is very impressive. At the end of the day, no other SUV offers the same kind of value that you're getting with the Corolla Cross, especially when you consider its fuel economy, its reliability, and everything that you're getting for that price. But the Corolla Cross is not the only well-designed SUV that Toyota makes. You could also make a very strong case for SUV number 3, which is the Toyota Venza. The Venza was reintroduced to the market back in 2021, only with one major twist. It's only offered as a hybrid SUV, which is a great thing. Toyota is known for making the most reliable hybrids on the market. They've been doing it for over two decades, and they have a very well-proven track record. And not only does the Venza have a very reliable, well-proven hybrid system, but it's also very fuel efficient too, able to achieve up to 40 miles per gallon or 6 liters per 100 kilometers. You also get great performance with up to 219 horsepower, standard all-wheel drive, and a very spacious interior that's packed with a lot of desirable features and technology. For example, it has one of the largest touchscreen infotainment systems in the segment, and now uses Toyota's latest multimedia interface. Put it all together and you have one of the best SUVs that you can possibly buy for the price. But if you like everything that the Venza has to offer, but just want something a little bit more on the luxury side, then let's move on to number 2 on the list, which is the Lexus NX. As far as reliability goes, the Lexus NX has one of the strongest reputations on the market. And not only is this a very reliable, well-built SUV, but it also offers a lot of different desirable options. If you want performance, you could go for the NX350 with a turbo 4-cylinder engine with up to 274 horsepower, or you could go for a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid if you want to save a lot of money on gas. 
I think the best value in the lineup is the NX350H, which uses the exact same hybrid system as the Toyota Venza. In any case, if you want to have a luxury SUV, you really can't go wrong choosing the Lexus NX. But if you want a small SUV with all the same benefits of the Lexus, but just for a much more affordable price, then the winner has to be number one, which is the Toyota RAV4. Any regular viewer of the channel will know that I often praise the RAV4 as one of the safest and most reliable SUVs that you can buy. It has a very strong, well-proven track record for reliability and low repair costs, and that's true whether you go with the standard engine or the hybrid. The regular RAV4 uses a naturally aspirated 2.5 four-cylinder engine with an 8-speed automatic transmission in either front-wheel or all-wheel drive. But the one that more buyers are going to be interested in is the hybrid which uses a 219 horsepower hybrid system, the exact same one found in the Lexus and the Toyota Venza, which means you not only get great performance and great reliability, but you also get exceptional fuel economy too. And on top of that, you get all of the other great benefits of the RAV4, like a spacious, practical interior, a lot of active safety features, and a very straightforward control setup and a great infotainment system. Put it all together and you're just not going to find a better value for a small crossover SUV. Which explains why the RAV4 has maintained such strong resale value and yet has been the most popular and best selling crossover SUV for a very long time. So there you have it, the 10 most reliable small SUVs. Which one of these SUVs would you buy or would you buy something else instead? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know what are the most reliable mid-sized SUVs, I'm going to be dropping that video in a few days, so make sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and if you need any additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcan.com. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.